gonna show you my current hair care routine which focus on length retention, hair growth, thickness, preventing split ends and in general having healthy hair. So if you like this video don't forget to like it. Before we get started I would like to thank Simplio for sponsoring this video. If you haven't heard of Simplio they are a Korean beauty brand that offers top quality shampoos, hair treatments and serums that are made with natural clean safe ingredients so no sulfates and parabens in it at a very affordable price. These are my two favorite products from Simply O. This is their refreshing scalp shampoo which is a slightly acidic shampoo infused with biotin and menthol that is going to work on straightening your scalp, deep cleanse and relieve scalp issues such as itchiness, dandruff and oiliness and the green breeze scent is specifically created to help the refreshing feeling on your scalp to last longer. They also have this amazing lightweight shining hair serum that is made of six kinds of natural oils including argan oil and jojoba oil that focus on reducing frizz, tangles and split ends and it makes your hair glossy, super shiny with no greasy feeling and smells so good. Right now Simply O is having a Black Friday and Cyber Monday mega sale. Also don't forget to use my code to get an additional 10% off and both of these products will be linked down below. Before washing my hair, I do two oil treatments. So the first one is a mix of castor oil, jojoba oil, and peppermint oil, which I only apply on my scalp a night before washing my hair. And then the next day, 20 minutes before washing my hair, I do the other oil treatment using pure avocado oil. And this one, I only apply a few drops to spread it only on my hair. Natural oils have saved my hair. I just wanted to say that since I've started oiling a few minutes before washing my hair, I noticed that the quality of my hair after washing has improved so much like my hair doesn't get puffy when it dries and it has less flyaways and hair feels way softer and less dry the only time i skip the 20 minute oiling it's when i oil my whole hair and scalp a night before but other than that i never skip this and detangling my hair with a wooden comb I normally wash my hair every 5 to 7 days and on very weird occasions when my scalp is irritated because of the weather or hormones, I opt for every 3 days until my scalp balances back. I always use sulfate paraben free shampoos and I am currently using these two shampoos that serve different purposes in my hair care routine. Because I have fine hair, most of my washing days I use this biotin shampoo that is infused with rosemary and coconut oil to achieve thickness and more growth on my hair. And and once a month, I use this purifying shampoo from Kalia to deep clean my hair from buildup caused by hard water because unfortunately, I wash my hair with hard water. And this also helps to remove the buildup from all the products and oils that I use daily. So my hair wash routine goes like soaking my hair in warm water for about a minute before using shampoo to help the shampoo to work better. And then I use a quarter size of shampoo to only clean my scalp for about three minutes. I go in first with my fingertips and this way and then I finish with a scalp exfoliator for about a minute to make sure that my scalp is very clean. This biotin shampoo it's kind of like a scalp treatment so I have to leave it for two to three minutes for my scalp to absorb it and once this happened I rinse it with warm water for one minute to get rid of any traces of the shampoo on my hair which is extremely important to do to avoid buildup. Next I'm gonna gently squeeze the water out of my hair to proceed with my weekly hair mask treatment. I don't use conditioners because they don't work on my hair. My hair wash routine basically focuses on one week for moisturizing treatments and then the following week for protein treatments and I just go by this every time I wash my hair. This hair mask method is based on the porosity of my hair and it seems to maintain my hair in healthy conditions so if you want to learn how to figure out the porosity of your hair I'll show you how to do this later. So for the hydrating treatment I've been very happy with the results from using the intense hydration mask from Shea Moisture. It is extremely hydrating. Hair always feels like silk after. However, this washing day is protein treatment week. So if it's not the day of the month to do the rice water rinse, I always use this hydrate repair protein power treatment from Shea Moisture. You know, I love trying and testing new products all the time. And so far, this protein hair mask is one of my favorite ones that deliver great results. So fully recommend it. When it comes to applying any deep conditioning hair mask, I always like to massage this amount of the hair 
mask on the middle to ends of my hair like this then I cover my hair for 10 minutes to allow the hair mask to really absorb into my hair and to rinse this off I do one minute cold water rinse which is what works for my hair pretty good for scalp circulation and to boost shine and hydration remember when I said that unfortunately I wash my hair with hot water mm -hmm. well to reduce the side effects of hard water on my hair every other week I do a distilled water rinse at the end of my shower I know this is extra but I've been doing this hack since the rice water challenge every time I rinse with distilled water I notice that it helps to maximize the result of whatever hair treatment that I put on so it's pretty good once I'm done cleaning my hair I use a microfiber towel to drain some water out of my hair using gentle strokes remember wet hair is more prone to breakage so using a microfiber towel will end up protecting your hair from this to happen and now I am going to cover my hair in this way and leave it like this for 20 minutes which is the time that it takes me to get dressed and to apply my skincare products I air dry my hair and I don't use heat. That's what I've been doing for years now and, and it is what works for my hair. However, when I started air drying my hair, my mistake was just to leave my hair as it is with no treatments and loose hair and every time my hair dry, it was a complete mess so don't make that mistake. Anyways, my after shower routine is based on putting moisture back into my hair and sealing it. This routine stays the same every week. I'm trying to accomplish more density on my hair so for this, I'm using one pump of the ordinary multi-peptide serum for hair density i apply all over my scalp as you can see and then i do a very gentle scalp massage which is recommended with this treatment i still don't know how i feel about this product i need more time to have a better idea if it works or not because we're talking about increasing density not shine so i need more time to judge to add moisture to my hair i'm currently using this leave-in conditioner from the innit life which i find it very suitable for air drying routine because it focuses on taming frizz and detangles the hair plus I love its lightweight consistency because if I end up using too much of this product which sometimes it happens my hair never looks greasy afterwards and then to seal these moisture which is extremely important for length retention and shine I use a hair serum I currently have four hair serums which they go from the lightest consistency to a more thick consistency I normally apply the light consistency ones when I use protein treatments and for the week of hydrating treatments I use more a heavy consistency. Serums are gonna smooth out the hair so when I detangle very gently with the wooden comb no hair will snap or break. This is why it is important to apply a serum if you detangle wet hair. Next I'm gonna proceed to do my regular hair wrap like this then to secure the hair wrap I'm gonna use a bobby pin right there on the middle and then slowly I'm gonna cover with a clean microfiber towel until my hair dries completely. Cleaning all my hair accessories every week is a must in my hair care routine because they soak all the dirt and oils from my hair. Honestly, you don't want to put all that gunk back into your clean hair, right? So for me to be consistent with this habit, I do this right after I wash my hair. I normally wash my pillowcases, silk cap, microfiber towels, and scrunchies in the washer. And for my hair clips and the head massager, I use alcohol wipes to clean them very well. For these specific brushes, it is recommended to rinse them with warm water mixed with a tiny amount of shampoo in this way and I rinse them one more time with only water and then I let them air dry on a ventilated area until the next day From now on, the things that I'm going to show you are routines that I follow every single day. For the rest of the week, I just let the natural oils come through. So no dry shampoo for me. The sebum that your scalp produces coats the strands helping to prevent moisture loss. So that's why shampooing less will keep your hair less dry and brittle. So the way I maintain my hair as fresh as possible and prevent breakage as well is by using protective hairstyles that use soft hair accessories like silk scrunchies, 
There's no crease hair ties or plastic hair clips. So these are the protective hairstyles that I do based on how oily my hair is getting during the days. During the first three days after my hair wash, my hair is barely oily. So I enjoy using these mini silk scrunchies with these protective hairstyles. And from day four to six, my hair gets very oily. So I use hair clips with hair wrap. I will suggest you to stay away from metal hair clips because they can cause too much tension on the hair follicles do its weight and they tend to break the hair. I know I am bad at this but this is a fantastic way to prevent split ends and breakage in general because it protects the whole hair from rubbing against your clothes, chairs, from the wind. All these factors cause friction which slowly wears off your hair and it breaks it. So a way to prevent this is by using protective hairstyles that even if they're not pretty they still protect your hair. So also another everyday habit in my hair care routine is to detangle twice a day my hair with this wooden comb and if it's needed I'll use a little bit of a hair serum to hydrate my hair. Something that I do to promote hair growth and thickness in my hair is to take supplements and eat protein every day. I show you in the hair growth hack video the importance of the omega-3s in boosting hair growth and reducing hair follicle inflammation. I find it very useful to include them in your diet if you normally don't eat fish. As you can see this one contains fish, flaxseed, safflower and olive oils. All these are extremely nourishing to the hair follicles and then I also take this biotin multivitamin for hair, skin and nails which is infused with my favorite oil, argan oil and it is high in vitamin C and also contains hyaluronic acid. Now the protein that is the most beneficial for your hair are eggs and that's why I try to have a healthy amount during the week. Eggs contain protein and biotin and you know your hair loves protein and biotin so I'm eating them is the best way to get those two core vitamins right into your hair which will end up helping you with hair growth and thickness. One of my main goals at night is to reduce split ends and to boost blood flow to my scalp to promote hair growth. A few minutes before bed every night, I oil my ends with three drops of pure Moroccan argan oil in this way. There is no better oil than argan oil to treat dryness and prevent split ends. For me, argan oil has done wonders to my fine hair by providing extreme hydration without leaving it greasy. And since I started oiling with argan oil at night, I don't remember the last time I had rough ends or excessive split ends. So like I said, for me, this oil is a must to have. Now I'm gonna use this head massager to tease my scalp for about five minutes to relax the hair follicles and for boosting hair growth. Since I got this, I want to massage my scalp more often than when I was using my fingertips and I also noticed that my scalp is less greasy at the end of the week and the massage in general feels way better. After this, I use my wooden comb to detangle from ends to roots and now that my hair and scalp have been treated I do my regular hair wrap and then I cover with a silk cup to go to bed. Only on rare occasions I do a loose braid to wear to bed. By the way I also sleep on silk pillows because some nights let's be honest I am so tired that nothing matters so this come in handy to protect my hair and skin from unnecessary wrinkles and breakage. My husband loves this. He loves it. Loves. As I said before, hair growth is one of my hair care goals. That is why I do a few hair growth hacks that has shown to keep my hair in constant growth. So the first method that I've been doing for over a year is the inversion method. Every 14 of each month, I do this method to keep it consistent. And even though every month the growth is different, still counts as growth. So it is amazing. And the other hair growth hack that I do is oiling my scalp a night before my hair wash day with castor oil and peppermint oil, which I already said. I always like to mix small amounts of these oils to keep it as fresh as possible. So I normally go with one quarter of Jamaican black castor oil with one quarter of pure jojoba oil. Then I add five drops of peppermint oil. You can also replace it with rosemary oil. Store this in a squeeze bottle to make the application easy and more sanitary. And if you put it right next to your bed, I promise you, you're not gonna forget to use it. I get it. 
figure it out the right hair care routine that suits your hair is exhausting and overwhelming trust me i'm still on that train but something that is gonna make it more simple for you is knowing what kind of porosity your hair has the porosity on the hair determines the ability of your hair to absorb and retain moisture so now that you understand this let's do the floating test which you're gonna need a clear bowl with water and three clean hair strands so after you rinse shampoo out of your hair you know the day you wash your hair you're gonna cut one strand from one side of your head and then you're gonna cut another one from the other side of your head cut one more strand from the back of your head now you're going to drop the strands in the bowl with water and let them sit there for two hours now let's check on the results if your hairs are floating you have low porosity on your hair which means your hair has a hard Hard time absorbing moisture but once it absorbs it retains it very well so in order to open up the hair cuticle you need to use methods like steaming or warming up your hair products before applying it into your hair to allow the moisture to go in now if your hairs are sitting at the bottom this means you have high porosity hair so you don't have a problem in getting the moisture in your problem is retaining it in this case sealing oils like olive oil or argan oil and protein treatment are gonna help you to keep your hair more balanced and happy if your hairs are floating in the middle that means you have regular porosity hair and whatever method you do it's gonna work for you remember that you can have more than one porosity on your hair so based on what you discover you need to figure it out and test what works the best for your specific hair type and porosity don't go. Every three months, I like to go and get a trim on my ends. Sometimes I try my best to do aloe vera and flaxseed gel hair masks. If there is a week of hydrating treatments, I do aloe vera. And if I have the time on the protein treatment week, I do a flaxy gel. But something that I am never gonna skip is the rice water. I just try to use rice water once a month and not trying to overdo it because overdoing things is not gonna help either. I do have this hair care routine that I basically do most of the time, but I go more for listen to what my hair needs. So if my hair needs a lot of hydration, that's what I'm gonna give it. So I skip certain things to add more hydration into my hair if that's what it needs. And if my hair is brittle and weak, I try to focus on protein treatments. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of work. It got so dark all of a sudden. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to share some love to me by subscribing to this channel right here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll get to see you in the next video. Pura vida!